Hi, this is Daniel with PointAbout. I'm going to walk you through Yahoo Pipes, and let me explain why. AppMaker does not yet parse what's called an Atom feed. And so if you put an Atom feed into our RSS, multi-RSS mashup app, it's just going to show up with a blank loading screen. It's going to look a lot like this. So if you're getting a screen like this, it's probably because you have an Atom feed. So let me show you how to fix it. The first thing that you can do is just confirm that it is, in fact, an Atom feed. For example, here's a feed from Blogger, and I'm just going to look at the source code, and I can see here that it says atom.css. So I know that it is, in fact, an Atom feed, and AppMaker is not going to be able to parse it directly. But no problem. That's why we have Yahoo Pipes. Let me show you how to use it. The first thing that you want to do in Yahoo Pipes is say fetch feed, and you're just going to drag this over into the workspace and you're going to throw in the actual feed and you'll see here that you get a little logo showing that Yahoo has understood the feed and that it's valid. That's what you want to see. Now we're going to take this feed and we're going to uh, basically map it to this output down here. We can see that at the bottom Yahoo Pipes has read the feed so we know that in fact this is a valid feed. So let's get started. The next thing that you want to do is go to Operators and say Create RSS. You're just going to also drag that right down, and then you can just make a connection between the source feed and this Create RSS box. And you can see here, and let me just drag this down, that it's asking us to basically map all of the fields from up here down here. So for example, Title, I'm going to choose Item Title. For description, I'll choose item description, and so on. Now that I've got everything mapped, I just have to take this and pipe an output out, and there we go. Now I have created an output from my source feed to a standard RSS feed instead of an Atom feed using Yahoo Pipes as a mapping engine to translate the two. Then you just want to save it and say back to my pipes and you can click on it in the My Pipes section here. And then just make sure that you hit Publish, and then just say Get an RSS. It's as easy as that. Now you have a standard RSS feed. Enjoy.